All right, y'all, we're back with another live arena video. We still haven't built out Quintus yet, so he's not going to be making an appearance in today's video. But I did manage to get a second star blessing for my Kaja today, which is kind of nice. Still have her in Life Harvest. Would love to keep picking up a few more of these. Honestly, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I'm really starting to like this blessing. It's pretty cool. Uh, speaking of, I actually went ahead and changed my Saltus into Live Harvest as well. He's the only six-star champion I have on my account, and this is pretty interesting. Um, we'll see if I end up sticking with this. I'm not 100% sure I might switch it back to get him to nuke, but uh, I'm just going to give it a shot for now and see how it goes. It does definitely lower his damage a bit, um, and it you know makes it harder for him to execute people and stuff. So I've had mixed results with it so far. I've definitely had it like maybe lose me a battle but also maybe win me a battle so i don't know we'll see how it goes um if i don't like it i can always switch it back you know it's not too bad 300 gems is kind of annoying but you know it's not the end of the world uh in terms of other things yeah we're gonna book quintus tonight i'm gonna rebuild him um i when i was like looking at different ways like op using the gear optimizer i want to make him really really fast like 280 speed um and the best way to do that is actually to take a lot of the gear that's on my Wukong right now and move that over to Quintus. And I'm not using Wukong for anything. So I think I might end up putting him back in the um, support build. I think I could run some interesting things with Wukong to counter uh, UDK, actually, where like Quintus can kind of one-shot any champion in the game. Um, or at least anyone who doesn't have like an unkillable passive like a Leorius or something like that because his A2 puts up decreased defense, buff strips, and ignores damage reducing passives. So that should basically give like a one shot, but it's a single target. So UDK, like Stone Skin UDK is a big counter to that. Um, so I think they might pair pretty nicely together, and then I could also do it in like live arena, or not live arena, um, 3v3 arena, could have a more interesting team to bring in against certain stuff. And I have that four star blessing on the um, Wukong, and I don't really use him anywhere, so I'm thinking it would be nice to have him like support build instead of nuker build. I just never, never use the nuker build, especially with, like honestly, um, you know, when I first started recording all these videos, I was using a lot more meta or off meta chance and stuff. But ever since we just picked up Georgian, he solved so many of those problems that I don't really like Jetney, for example. I haven't used Jetney hardly at all, but it's like I was bringing in Jetney to counter uh, Necrit teams. And it's like, well, we don't need to counter Necrit teams with Jetney when Georgian can just one shot them. You know what I mean? Um, so it's sort of shifted up how I play a bit, um, probably less interesting for people who don't have super OP champions like Georgia, but you know, so be it. Uh, so we've got this sort of standard team that we see all the time with the Taurus, Sifi, uh, Yumiko. Um, we're going to go with the Georgids, like the sort of Georgid speed team here. Leaning on banning, well, we'll have to see. I mean, th this, this team is pretty hard to beat, um... A lot of times what I end up needing to do is try... Yeah, okay, it's this shit again. Um, I think we go with the Staltus. It's a six-star blessing on this, and it's plus one. How could we play this? I think we have to play it like this. Uh, there's a, I mean, it's going to come down to the speed race. There's a good chance we lose... Um, the speed race at this level, like, my speed gear isn't carrying me enough. Okay, interesting. He chose to ban that. Um, it's really going to come down to whether we can land the stun on the Staltus. Whether we win the speed race and whether we land the stun on the, with the Staltus. So, let's see. We do win the speed race. That's excellent. Now, there's still a possibility that Georgia can get cut in on right there. Yep. Um, unfortunately, we did not land. He weak hit, but we're going to get locked out. Yeah, that's GG. Um, I don't know. Is there any reason to even try at this point? No. Staltus is gonna, or Tarsus is just gonna nuke us down. All right, GG. Um, yeah, you know, we just need we need Georgia a little faster so we can deal with that. Might have been interesting to bring in Deacon actually to that fight because he gives a slightly more turn meter boost. I could have maybe considered that. I don't know, though. I feel like I win. Is this the same guy? I feel like I win a lot of the fights um, anyway. No, it's a different guy. So, like, actually, like, I mean, the, the speeds are pretty tight with Georgia as fast as he is. It's not like people cut in that often on that kind of thing. So, 
I don't know. But I do kind of... I wish I could make him like 280 speed and still have him be a good damage dealer. That's kind of why I want Quintus, because I, uh, I don't know. With Nukers, it's always really hard to say. All right, we're going to go... Uh, you know what? Let's just go Georgid Foley. Um, with Nukers, it can be really hard to say because... Um, it's sometimes hard to judge how much damage they're actually going to do, right? And so with the builds, it's kind of like with Georgian. I ended up having to build them, build them like so many different ways before I finally, you know, settled on what I want to do with them. Same thing is going to be with Quintus. I'm going to build them a certain way, and I'm going to be like, okay, does he actually have enough damage to kill the people I want to kill? Um, being super super fast, but I do think his A2, I do think his A2 is probably going to be able to one shot almost anyone if he doesn't run into reactions stone skin or you know certain blessings um we just run kaja here is there any reason not to just ban the um uh oh i guess we have problems with the half rack Uh, let's see. How do I want to play this? Do I want to ban the Hefrak or the Leorius? I think I want to ban the Hefrak. Or I think I want to ban the Leorius. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see how it goes. We basically have a 20% shot of getting uh, frozen on Kaja. And then it also d depends on whether or not the... Um... Oh, actually, this new Wukong is kind of annoying. Uh... Let's just push the turn meter back. Oh, wait a minute. No, I forgot. We have Foley. We're fine. So we're going to do this. Do we get the... Fro oh, we get frozen. Okay. Um... Let's see, how do we want to take this out? I think... Ooh, that's unfortunate. Honestly, the fact that they're all frozen is kind of nice, though, because it means the... Um... Uh... We're going to take less damage, although... Oh, shoot. Yeah, we got the revive. Man, I wasn't expecting a, um... Nice! Thought I was dead there. Uh... This will work. Um... I wasn't expecting a swift parry on the... Tormund. That would have gone a lot better if Tormund had died. <laughs> but no, we still we still got the win. Okay, cool. Um, perfect. Yeah, when I run into... Um, when I run into teams with Nuke Wukong, it's a little tricky. Because I want to bring in Foley to counter. But because Georgid runs faster than Foley, I need to basically kill the Nuker and then use Georgid's A1. And then have Foley go. Which can be tricky there if they're not fast enough fortunately they were um but my kaja well also because i pushed the wukong back with the arbiters a1 the kaja did not get the turn meter boost because she got frozen that was kind of actually we had a lot of bad rng happen to us in that fight um if we didn't we that fight would have been a lot easier because the kaja basically has a 20 percent chance of getting frozen by tormund um because it's that first turn meter boost after the turn meter boost the next thing she puts up is block debuffs, right? Um, she cleanses and puts up block debuffs. So if she doesn't get frozen on that first turn meter boost, no one on the team will get frozen at all. Um, obviously, once we get her into four piece uh, or one turn stone skin, I need some stone skin accessories. Once we get her into one turn stone skin, um, we won't have that issue where she can just be, you know, uh, completely protected from Tormund. But even still, for 
classic arena, yeah, 20% chance you're not going to take that. But for live arena, a 20% chance, I'll take that. If I have to, if I have to risk that and just like push the lead champion back with the Arbiter and get Kaja to do the turn meter boost and have a 20% chance of getting frozen and not getting it. I think that's worth the trade-off. Um, fortunately, because my nukers were built faster than their nukers anyway, um, which makes sense because, like I said, we pushed the Wukong back. The Wukong might have been faster, but we pushed him back. Hefrak is usually built slow because there's not a lot of reason to build him fast. He's better built, you know, slow to deal more damage um, in, st in stone skin. And then the... Tormund can be a mix, but that wasn't even really a nuke Tormund because it was in... Um, uh, What's it called? It was in Swift Parry anyway, and he didn't like he didn't actually kill me when he took a turn. Didn't kill anyone, even my very squishy nukers. Um, so can't remember where I was going with that. Um, oh, so yeah. Anyway, um, the nukers were built fast enough that even without the turn meter boost from Kaja, we still pulled off. But it was definitely risky. Bully is a good option there too, because. Uh, if he gets frozen, he gets the turn meter boost, which can be a problem because it can mean he can get frozen again from that turn meter boost. So he's not like the perfect counter to Tormin, but it's essentially like you've got to roll the 20% chance and then you've got to roll the 20% chance again, right? Before he'll actually get frozen. So it's a pretty low um, chance he's going to get frozen from a single turn meter boosting ability. Uh, if you use an Arbiter and you give him the increased attack and the turn meter boost, then there's an extra 20% chance in there. That's why we didn't use the Arbiter um, turn meter boost. But um, yeah, he's, he's actually a pretty good counter for Tormund in Live Arena for that. And he also brings the Block Revive, which can be kind of nice against Tormund as well. Oh my god, where's my Live Arena matches? Is this like the third cycle in a row? Huh. <sighs> So I've definitely, you can see I'm still at like 4,000 points. It's definitely like up and down, up and down, up and down in gold three, unfortunately. Um, I'm, I'm thinking when we make a little bit more progress on the account, like if we can ever get Kaja into the stone skin, that'll help. Although to be honest, I don't fight, I don't counter a ton of Tormens. I think Quintus will help a lot because it'll mean that people picking Harima and Taurus, like Harima and Taurus are both very vulnerable to Quintus. Like he can one shot both of them. Um, with his A2 ability. So, um, there we go. So, I think he will help us a lot because it's like at this level of arena, it's just like everyone is just running the meta. Like, I mean, not the people like this, like this guy. I mean, maybe he is going to run the meta. I'm just saying, like, a 3,700 player is like a more on the low end. Like, if you see, I'm, you know, 4K. So, if we say 300 down, like a 3,700 player will have some variety in their champions like this. Like, at the 4700 rank it's just like nothing but like Sifi, uh taurus marichka harima you know yumiko or something like that dude this guy's running like the exact same thing the last guy did um you know what we could do we could bring an al score Do I want to risk this? I mean, the last strategy worked. Let's just do that. We're definitely taking a risk because we kind of need to ban this. Or we may be forced to ban this last pick. Is this the same guy? I thought the other guy we fought was way higher rated. Oh, yeah. No, it's not the same guy. Um, okay. I think we need to ban... Which one of these do we want to ban, Leorius or Hefrak? I think we want to ban. I think we ban Leo. Might have actually been better to ban Hefrak now that I think about it, because um, Hefrak could have been problematic um, if he gets revived, but. Okay, let's see if we're going to get to go before him. We'll definitely get to go before that. Um, you know what? I'm going to come in here and just do this. Uh, 
I don't want to play this. That might have been a huge mistake. I'm going to save it. Um, yeah, we're going to turn meter boost this. Oh, that was actually really nice and kind of bad of him to ban. Oh yes, thank you. I was so afraid. Oh wait, no, he can't sleep the f uh, he can't sleep the fully. That's right. The fully will get the turn meter boost. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we might as well target the Duchess. Are we gonna get the kill? Yep, we get the kill. Bing, bada boom. Nice, perfect. Yeah, Foley's actually really good for countering, not countering, um, but he's really strong against uh, Seafy right there, too, because if Seafy if tried to sleep him, he would just give him a turn meter boost. <laughs> um, so he can be really nice for dealing with her on, on a limited scale as well. All right, let's check this out. Anything in here we want? Not really. Five-star gear. No. No. All right. Okay, let's do another one. Yeah, Georgia is just so good. I'm, it, it's really interesting when people do these, like, Hefrek and Leorius picks into Georgia. Seems, or did he pick that before? No, maybe he picked that before I picked Georgia, because I picked Foley first to counter the Wukong. I think he probably should not have revived with the... Um, with the... Uh, what's it called? Should not have revived with the Duchess. That was a big mistake. I honestly thought I was going to lose that fight until he did that. Hey, Disco Blinko. I watched uh, Sheenie lose to this guy when his game got locked out and he couldn't actually pick any champions. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> actually, it's already, it's already past that <laughs> in his video that he released earlier today. Can't remember what team this guy is running. Okay. Um. Ch -ch 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 -ch. How do we want to deal with this? I think we need to go Staltus. Oh man, I really want to pick Ramansu. You know what? I'm doing it. Um. Yeah, the main uh, risk right here is if this is a speed Wukong and he has another speed champion and then he can ban my Arbiter, that could be a big problem. Um, ooh, do 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 do. Honestly, let's just ban the Necrit. Interesting choice to ban the Foley. Very interesting choice. I feel like, um, I feel like the fully ban is not the best, given that I'm already countering Wukong with the Ramansu, and now he's going to get locked out. Which I mean, lockout alone can kind of shut down the Wukong in a big way. Also, oh wow, the Roto survived that even with his block passive. Um, that's annoying. Oh, and the her uh the Duchess did not get locked out. Um, I feel like I have to do this, but it's a little suboptimal because uh, they're going to get revived with all of their, um, uh, with their, what's it called? 
uh, Veil. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, they're still, they should still be locked out, so we'll go ahead and drop the passives. Oh, can we get, can we get Staltus around again? Yes, we can. Um, Rotos or Wukong? Rotos or Wukong? I think the Rotos needs to go more than the Wukong. Hopefully he doesn't one-shot my Arthur. Oh! Dude. Um, what? We didn't kill the Wukong? Oh my god, that's brutal, man. That is brutal. How did Wukong not die right there? I must have weak hit him. I should have um Should have gone with the stun. We're like kind of screwed now, to be honest. Cuz the Wukong's just going to keep popping back up. Wait, what the hell? Oh, there he is. The only saving grace is we have... Oh, my God. How is this Wukong surviving my Stoltis? What in the world? He's got, like, 20,000 health. How did he survive that? Oh, man. I guess I must have weak hit him. I, I, You know what? That was really dumb. That was really dumb. I should have just A2'd him. Although, to be fair, I mean, we got screwed twice, to be honest. We got hardcore screwed twice on the weak hits. I'm going to assume that was weak hits. I'm going to have to check. But I can't imagine there's a way that it wasn't a weak hit. I assume we just weak hit him twice. So, proc a 35% chance twice in a row. It's pretty brutal. I mean, to be fair, we could have done some things to minimize that. Like, I could have used uh, double hitting abilities, which would have reduced the chance. But, yeah. That's one of those like niche things where it's like you never think about doing it, but it kind of makes sense. He's a double hitter. If I had taken him out too, honestly, that's that's another nice thing about the Wukong um, with the the max life harvest is you can run in a scenario where Wukong is like almost acting like a turn meter engine for your nuker, where he just keeps reviving and boosting your turn meter by like 40% every time he does, and you just smack him down over and over again. Of course, if he revives and gets to take his turn and like one-shots you, it, it can be a problem. But yeah, that was a pretty well-built Wukong too, considering that he one-shot my team with no increased attack or anything. He one-shot my Arbiter with no increased attack. Definitely would love oh, yeah, maybe tonight. We're getting um, we're getting Hydra Clash finishing tonight, right? I need a protection accessory so bad. Um, okay, so what do we want to do against this guy? Who's gonna pick last, me or him? him okay so i'm i need kaja what do we want to do for nukers i don't want to go stall this instead of georgian we need a nuker that's not going to die to um torment after he revives also, that Life Harvest Blessing, again, another thing that comes in real clutch where the Tormen death boosts the turn meter of the Staltus a lot. I feel like that last fight, though, might have been one where if we did have the... Well, I don't know. Would, would the Life Harvest Blessing have won us the fight? Maybe, honestly, in the last one. 
Okay. Um. Dog dog is a weird pick. Oh, I just realized I didn't pick Warlord. Why didn't I pick Warlord? Whoopsie daisy. Um, Foley. Foley or Georgian? Foley or Georgian? Foley or Georgian? You know what? Let's go Foley. Nogdar uh, revives himself, right? I think we can kill the Nogdar. Ooh, Necrit. Um, I think we just ban the Necrit. Even if CV beats us in the turn meter race... I doubt the rest of her team is fast enough. I mean, if... Yeah. No, I think we should be okay. Okay, we win the turn meter race. Oh, get the resist. Feels bad. We double win the turn meter race, though. Oh, come on. We're still faster. Should still be faster. Another 20% chance. We're getting really bad RNG today. Um, I'm just going to go for the Nogdar. Yes, glad I clicked him. Very glad I clicked him. Um, let's try not to get frozen. We'll save that. It's our only form of healing. We'll see how, how much of a nuker this torment is. It does have the increased defense, which is annoying, but we're doing alright so far. Okay, so it hits pretty hard. That stun on the um, Staltus is annoying. Does that mean it's in a stun set, though? I guess I say it hit pretty hard, but to be honest, no, it didn't. It killed the Foley, who was really squishy. It did nothing to the Staltus. Um, do we want to revive? I don't think so. Actually, yeah, I do. Yep. Okay, nice. And we got the turn meter boost from the Tormund freezing him. So that's kind of nice. Okay, that's fine, honestly. Um, come on, dude! Please! Uh, yeah, we might as well go here. Here. Yeah, this Tormund just doesn't do anything. Um. Let's see if we can just take him out. Oh, brutal. He still doesn't do anything to Kaja, though. why Kaj is so good, man. It is pretty brutal, though. Tormund is rough, man. He is rough. Ooh, it's just hard to kill. Like, we're definitely feeling the lack of the Staltus damage in this fight. If 
only we didn't get frozen on that very first... Uh, turn. Oh, why didn't he just kill me? That's interesting. What the heck, dude? Why didn't he just kill me? Oh my god. Every 20% chance has landed. It's wild. GG. But holy hell, can you be any more RNG carried? He landed so many 20% chances over and over and over again. Like, literally, if the very first 20% chance didn't land, we probably would have won that fight pretty handily. Um, if, like, any one of those didn't, like, any one of the other ones didn't land, like, the stun debuff on the Staltus didn't land, like, just so much. I mean, I realize Tormund is an agent of RNG, but, like, jeez Louise, can you get any luckier on everything? That's live arena. That is live arena. I need to double check Nogdar. I can't remember exactly how his kit works. You don't see him much. I want to say he self revives if three or more enemies or three or more allies are alive. Is that how it works? Revives this champion with 50% HP and full team meter when dead if three or more allies are alive. Does not work. If there are multiple Nogdars on the team. Or if there are three or fewer total champions on the team. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I feel like we made the right play, honestly. Um, given what I have on my account. I feel like we did that. As good as we can. Honestly, just feel like got bad luck. A few, like one or two... Tormund freezes, like 20% Tormund freezes that don't land, and I think we win. I could have maybe tried to bring in Romansu, actually, although I didn't check his blessings. So I'm just double checking. Tormund has a 20% chance of placing a freeze on the enemy each time they receive a buff or have their turn meter fill. 20% shall apply up to twice per enemy turn, once for buffs, once for turn meter fills. Yeah, so it's Kaja's 20% on the turn meter fill. And then Staltus is 20% on the increased defense from the uh, A3. Jeez Louise, the matchmaking is getting rough, man. It's like three or four minutes to get a fight. He has no stuns in his kit, right? That means he was built in a stun set? Yeah. One thing I could have maybe done and played that a little bit better is, um, well, no, I wasn't going to get last pick. Yeah, that's why I went with the Kaja when I did. Although we did just ban the last pick anyway, so I could have just let him have it. I'm thinking like maybe um, Pytheon would have been a better option than Kaja there because he would have brought in more healing and the longer duration on the decrease buffs but I don't know. would have also given the Foley the increased attack at least for the A3 so that could have been a better option but oh well it is what it is definitely won't have to deal with that problem once we get the stone skin on Kaja need those glyphs man I feel like it's going to take me months to get enough glyphs like it's actually wild how rare six star glyphs are and how important they are. And then you get one and you roll and you get like a three. Oh, it's just like, oh my god. I feel like it's like literally going to take me a year to get just the things I want like into a good state. And it's kind of wild because you can't even like pay to win glyphs. I mean, not that I would, but like you just can't. Like they don't really sell them. Oh, lordy. We got a fight. Oh, it's the same guy. I wonder if I'll go with the same team this time.
He picks first this time, which is kind of nice because it means I get to counter pick at the end. Um, maybe we go George and Staltus this time. I mean, this is the same team that he was running last time. Let's just do it. If he bans the Torment, maybe we just say... Does Nogdar... Like, can Nogdar even kill my team anyway? He only has single... Or he has an HP swap, right? Yeah. Um... Let's just let's just ban the torment. Tax all enemies. After tagging this champion, sacrifice HP to fifty percent max HP, then place a continuous buff on all allies. Actually, actually even kills the champion. So he's an all ally attack, which doesn't even have very good multipliers. Okay, interesting. So he went with the ban on the Georgid. Um, that seems ill-advised. I don't know, maybe this Nogdar will smack me and I'll be really surprised, but... Can he sleep the Saltus right here? Yeah, he can. Oh, he's just A1-ing. Um, I feel like he's just gonna go for the Arbiter again, so I might as well just do this. Let's see if we can push the Nogdar back. Oof, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see, turn meter boost, or you know what? If we can buff strip that um, protection, we can potentially stun the Nogdar, which did not work, but that's okay. Um, let's go here. Let's go here. He's just going to chunk through my team, isn't he? Jeez. This is over. Damn. Well played. Hey, next time I... Well, yeah, I know that guy, so I should just... I should have just picked the Foley instead. 
assumed he was going to do the same thing. Like the, the the order of the picks that time was obviously a little different. Um, but given that I just fought him, probably should have just gone with the Foley. I was playing it like I mean I wouldn't have picked Foley blindly into that. Although let's see, I last picked honestly. So what I should have done? No, but I'd already picked my nukers. I could have gone with the Ramansu too. Only problem is there are so many polymorph blessings. I was a little hesitant, but I don't think they were a six star. So maybe I should have just gone Ramansu actually. Once we lost the um, the Georgian, although I, to be fair, I wasn't really expecting to, to pick the to ban the Georgian. But now that I think about it, that's why people are picking Nogdar. It's it's his A1 grants the extra turn. So they're doing that as a counter to Necrit. Or not to Necrit, to Warlord. So that makes a lot more sense now. Go with the Arbiter. Definitely feeling like the Staltus just isn't hitting hard enough, though. Uh, might as well go Georgian. Normally, I would pick Quintus right here. Although, I am really worried about these. Um, I'm really worried that Quintus is not going to be able to one-shot the Taurus when we bring in the... Um, Uh, what am I trying to say? When we bring in the uh, Ward of the Fallen. Um, what options do we have here? I feel like I'm kind of screwed. Mm hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll do this. I think we're going to have to ban the CP. Oh man, I really want to ban the Zoranda, but... Interesting. Interesting to go with the Arbiter ban. Um, if his Yumiko is faster than my Kajo, we're going to be screwed, but it's not. Can we still still get the, the cut in? Yeah, so I think that's probably GG. Wow. Really fast. Rhonda. doesn't really matter we're dead that's a really fast ronda because my um my kaja still got the turn meter boost off on the georgian which is wild dude these videos are taking are like so much longer i'm doing the same number of fights i'm doing 10 fights still but this video has already taken longer than most of my other fights even though we have three left to go just because of the, the matchmaking although i guess now that we're back in gold two someday we'll be able to get warlord to be speed tuned with kaja instead of speed tuned with arbiter but i feel like he's just not gonna have enough um not gonna have enough accuracy if i do make him that fast hold out those glyphs man uh okay how do we want to play this one I think we want to go hmm you know what let's do ramansu there's no polymorph on this team so far. 
They all have really strong passives. Well, not Baron, but the rest of them have really strong passives. Um, who do we ban? I feel like he's going to ban Georgian. I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with the Hefrak ban. Okay, that's fine. This is one of those fights where I really feel like, ooh, okay, fast. Um, Arima, interesting. Um, I think we need to do this. Drop the turn meter. Oh, boo! A Duchess went before my Warlord, right? So it's still locked out. I was going to say, sometimes people build Ursuga to actually deal some damage. Um... Nice. If we can keep pushing her turn meter back, that'll be... Or not her... her not her turn meter, her abilities. Ooh, see, that's, a, that's a, like a big... Um... A big, what's it called? A big failure of the, like if we had, um, if we had uh, Soul Reap right there, we would have killed her. So that's a bummer. Um, well, yeah, let's come in here and do this again. Let's see if we can get a lockout. We can. Uh, oh, God, please die. It's so frustrating. She's been so close so many times. There we go. Um, all right, we need to watch our Staltus's abilities. Um, let's see, how do we want to play this? I feel like, yeah, we just do this. It's our best shot. Hopefully she's not locked out, although it's not the end of the world. Or hopefully she is locked out. Okay, we gotta not die to Baron. Okay, I'm okay with that. Oh my god, this her this um Oh shoot. Okay, that's annoying. I think it's fine though. Yeah, he just doesn't he just doesn't hit very hard. Hopefully she doesn't have veil. Oh, she does. Shoot. No! No, no, no. Damn it. Does he have sky piercer yet? Smacks though. Dude, these fights have been so frustrating today. <laughs> All right, we're we're done. I think I think I need to go put Staltus back in. Um... Okay. I think I need to go put Staltus back in 
Soul Reap. Oof. This Duchess is so fast. Wow. Yeah, he just doesn't he just doesn't do his job, um, unfortunately, in life harvest. Doesn't hit hard enough. Man, what a drag. I'm getting bodied. How many fight how what's our battle log look like? One, two, three, four, five losses in a row. We've won two out of seven. All right, maybe we'll win these next two. We can get any fights. Okay, here we go. This is the same guy. Okay, yeah, he's going a little bit of a different strategy. Um, I'm going to go Warlord Staltus. You can always run a go second team. If we open with these two. Lanicus Necrit. Um, okay, so that's all of his supports chosen. So we can just go Kaja, Gorgid, and pick Deacon as the last one. Ban the Arbiter. Bans the Kaja, that's fine. If it's a really fast um, Lanicus, it could be a problem. Sometimes people build like super fast Lanicus. It is a really fast Lanicus. Uh, I think we can go ahead and go with this. Lockout. Georgia can take out. Land the stun. Easy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Well, that was kind of a gimme. Well, actually, I shouldn't say it was a gimme. I mean, if he was faster than me, it could have been hard. Mm. Haven't been bringing in Deacon much, to be honest. Haven't been bringing in Deacon much. I'm kind of glad I didn't spend more, like, I didn't buy the six-star blessing on Deacon, because I would be kicking myself, uh, since I hardly ever use him now. He's kind of been completely replaced by um, Kaja. Okay, it'll be interesting to see what he does this time. Okay. Uh, do I want to go with the Georgid here? I think I am. I feel like I need the Georgid to make sure... Um, well, yeah. Actually, that's not entirely true. Actually, no, it kind of is true. I like the Georgia for the turn meter pushback when we're doing speed team versus speed team more than anything else. Okay, uh, that that is a little annoying. Um, Damn, this is tricky. This is tricky. Do we do this or do we do Kaja? It's a. Well, it's interesting. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm gonna the Foley can potentially get turn meter boosted by the um Razzlevarg, interesting. By the What's it called? Okay. The thing about this is yes, the um Valkyrie is really annoying, but it really just needs to we just need to get the Warlord off. And if Warlord's turn meter can't be pushed back. Yeah, so the the Valkyrie is not the best counter. Let's just do this. Okay. 
All right, well, that was our five fights. I guess we were back in gold three. Honestly, didn't go the best. We won, well, we did win four out of 10 at the end of the day, but um, yeah, would have preferred a little better. But all right, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one, cheers.